Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So here today we are sitting at $160.65 currently. Over the past week we are over, uh, well we're at 45% in gains. Remember we started this account with just $100. If you saw my last video I was at $113. Right now I'm at $160. Which is uh, February 19th of 2020. The market is open. So price is going to fluctuate, of course. So yesterday, basically what I ended up doing, um, now I'm taking profits as I go, of course. And uh, I ended up doing an AMD call option. I bought one contract. You can see it right here. I bought it for $102. And that same day, I ended up selling it for $154. And uh, I saw the profits. I went ahead and you know took the profits. I don't want to get greedy. I could have maybe held on for it a little bit longer. Uh, but then again, you never know what might happen, right? So that's the whole thing with giving yourself some time. You got to give yourself some time on the options just in case it does not go in your favor. And uh, I ended up just taking profits that same day doing a day trade. And that's the other thing. Uh, you got to be careful with the uh, PDT rule, the pattern day trader rule, basically. You can only uh, trade three times within five business days if your account is under $25,000. And so I took a $52 profit. And today I moved along to the other uh, stock that I wanted to buy call options on, which is JD. Now on JD, I ended up buying today um, five contracts right here. You can see my uh, total investment for, the, for those contracts was $125. I bought them with an expiration date of March 20th with a strike price of $50. Recently, it got an upgrade, and that, that is the reason I moved into a JD. I want to go ahead and take some profits and, you know, just move along to the uh, next stock and stuff like that. So I'm taking profits along the way. Uh, you know, if I see maybe, uh, sorry about that. If I see maybe about, you know, $15, $20 in profits, I'll go ahead and take them. You know, it's $15, $20 I didn't have before. And as I'm growing my account, uh, once I have enough money, uh, maybe around $300, $400 on it, then I'm going to go ahead and move on to covered call writing and selling puts because I have a plan for that as well on certain stocks. Now, I'm not on, you know, you can simply buy options if you like, uh, you know, it's a great way to uh, get great returns. However, I have different strategies that are, you know, a lot safer in my opinion. And I'm only doing the uh, call options simply because it's a little, you know, faster than just simply buying the stock and selling it for the, uh, on a swing trade, basically. So this is why I'm buying call options right now, just because I'm trying to grow the account slowly but surely and then i will move on to selling covered calls and selling puts remember we started this account with only a hundred dollars so you can see here you know i was at 110 113 last time on the video that i did uh, a few days ago and i went up all the way to almost 200 dollars and i was actually at work when that happened and i was not able to sell uh, yes, I do still work. I do Uber Eats. I, you know, I I hold a job on the side and then I do all this. So, you know, the more sources of income you have coming your way, the better, right? So we started this account with only $100 and we are up at 160 currently. And like I said, I'm taking profits along the way. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Until then, uh, I'll see you guys on the next video and hopefully I can keep on growing this account. Thanks very much for watching once again, guys. And until then, I will see you again on the next video.